What is going on, peasants? My name is JB, and I'm here today with my draft analysis for Season 5 of the ICBA. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to uh, Johnny GB for uh, inviting me to the season. Should be a really fun time, and I'm pretty pumped to uh, be playing some more USUM. Now, uh, for those of you who uh, want to know a little bit of backstory about this league, the ICBA is much like the PCL, where are there some uh, uber Pokemon allowed some uh, higher tier, some, you know, more broken things. But uh, unlike the PCL, you're actually allowed to slap Z moves on some of these things if you want to. And other than that, it's a pretty, you know, just standard um, uh, draft league. But uh, the other thing that's a little bit different is you are required to take an S tier. Like, the S tier requirement replaces the Mega slot in, like, you know, your standard uh, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, blah, 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 blah. Uh, instead of a Mega slot, you are required to draft an S tier, and then Megas are just strewn out through out of the tiers so uh yeah let's just go ahead and get into uh the actual draft uh, i had picked 15 out of 16 but it's, you know i do love myself a wheel pick and it's actually even better a uh, really good wheel pick because 14 and 16 were two of my best friends in the community austin and die so we made sure that we weren't really going to be snapping each other on the wheel so we actually ended up with a pretty good team from what i mostly wanted like i got most of the stuff i wanted basically and uh yeah let's just go ahead and get into the first pick with our first pick in the icba season five the arkansas ways of Rins drafted mega metagross now uh you might be like yo why'd you draft an s tier mega you could put z moves on s tiers well we'll get to that in a little bit all right but uh this is a pokemon i've just always wanted to grab uh didn't really have a chance to grab it in either of the pcl seasons where it was available so uh grabbing here is actually really cool because this mod is just an absolute truck man it, it takes hits for days you can see it has incredible bulk uh great offenses as well and very fast so it's just an all-around incredible pokemon i uh, can set up with agility if you want to just outspeed everything it has good priority and bullet punch can set hazards for you in stealth rocks and it provides one of the better steel types just out there period uh one of my biggest things like in draft leagues is i don't like a lot of steel types and i don't like a lot of ground types but they're two absolutely necessary types to have when you're drafting so being able to pick up something that a i haven't used before and b is just the strongest meta meta mega metagross is just phenomenal like it checked all the boxes i wanted in a pokemon and so i decided to go ahead and grab it round one now in terms of move pulls i'm not really gonna do the whole blah 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 read from a list thing because you guys should know that already like that's that's the whole that's like the hot wave of uh poketubers complaining is like we don't want to do draft analysis because people should already know what pokemon do so I'm just gonna stick with like what my, what my what my community wants me to do. So I'm not gonna tell you all the cool moves Mega Metagross gets. You can go to Pokemon Showdown yourself. You can type in Mega Metagross. You get a look at just how incredible this thing move full is. Like I said, Bullet Punch priority, Meteor Mash, uh, just sort of killing things. And yeah, it's just a great all around Pokemon. And there's was like, yeah, I just really wanted to use it. So I grabbed it. Again, check the box of still type that I haven't used and a very good one at that. So next up, uh, I wanted to go ahead and grab another Pokemon that I have always 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 wanted to grab and just it never gets back to me it always goes like before it should like this pokemon in my opinion is not a round one pick in ultra sun and ultra moon but i always goes round one uh and it definitely would have gone round two especially considering i have a, i have like one of the little wheel picks so it would not have gone back to me in round three so i decided to go ahead and pick up garchomp now i love garchomp before i met austin i've <laughs> aka garchomp the god i've always been a huge fan of this pokemon so like, being able to finally pick this thing up is just phenomenal. Uh, it's, again, like I said, I don't like a whole lot of the ground types. I've used a lot of them. I've been playing this format for a while. So picking up a mod I've never used before, again, it checked the box in that regard. And also gave me a dragon type. Of course, you know, dragon ground. Being one of the just absolute best typings in the game. Dual stab hits incredibly hard. Not a whole hell of a lot wants to switch into it. Can be ran very bulky as well. Has a great HP stat, solid bulk. Massive HP, or massive attack stat as well. Can do some things like with that 80 base special attack if you really want to uh with like fire blast and can drop some dracos and then 102 speed is a phenomenal speed tier out it's pacing those base 100s that you see popping up on teams and uh yeah um this, this thing is just a just an absolute monster and i'm very much looking forward to picking uh this thing up and just having some fun with it i don't know what i'm saying but uh it provides me stealth rocks again uh, which is, you know, helps a little bit take the pressure off of Mega Metagross because Mega Metagross is really, really running rocks. You know, this Garchomp per se, but it's much better at running like a bulky sort of rocks that the Mega Metagross is. So, yeah, giving me another rocket there is always nice. Next up, uh, I wasn't really sure, like, this one was not in my plan, like, at all because I didn't think it would get to me, but it did. And then, you know, I looked at the Z rolls for this season and I'm like, wait, I can do that? 
Okay, yeah, this one is on my team now. So with our next pick, we decided to grab Manaphy. Now, Manaphy is one of the most notorious setup sweepers in draft league format. Uh, of course, with Teleglow, as well as Rain Dance, and potentially Z Rain Dance, which, spoiler alert, Manaphy is one of my Z users. Um, I guess I guess we can just go ahead and talk about my Z users. So, the way ICBA is set up, uh, they have split tiers, like uh, S tier 1, S tier 2, and like S tier 3. And they all have like their separate point values for like, you have, I believe it was 240 Z points to spend. So like is 160, 140 for like the S tiers. And for like S tier 1, I don't think you could Z move, but S tier 2 and S tier 3 you could. They're like 160-140. Tier 1A um, <clears throat> was like 120 slash 100. Or just tier 1 was 120 slash 100. Okay, no, no. Let me, let me restart. So S tier was 160 slash 140. Uh, 160 uh, out of your 240 points would allow you to run any Z move, like status Z moves, like such as Z Rain Dance on Manaphy. And then the 140 would allow you just to run just purely offensive Z moves. So, uh, so yeah, 240 points to spend. Tier 1s were like 120 for all Z moves and then uh, 100 for just offensive Z moves. So I have all off all Z move Manaphy. So I can I have access to Z Rain Dance Manaphy should I want. I also have access to offensive Z move on Garchomp as well as uh, Z moves on my tier 5 Pokemon, which I'll get to in a minute. Of course, but yeah, we have uh, Z Manaphy, which is again is one of the absolute best setup sweepers in the game. With Z Rain Dance plus Teleglow, or just Teleglow three attacks, or just Z Rain Dance three attacks. It can run bulky pivot sets with U turn and knock off. It can be annoying that way. Give me a cleric with Hillbell this mod just checks so many boxes. It's a bulky water as well. Uh, again, just like between these three mods and the offensive pressure they provide, like I'm already loving the start of this draft. Next up, I wanted to grab a really good fairy type to pair with uh, Garchomp and Mega Metagross and. Uh, look, honestly, like, luckily enough, funnily enough, I guess I should say, not luckily enough, I, uh, decided to go ahead and grab Togekiss, which actually also provides a ground, uh, switch in for Mega Metagross, taking, you know, pressure off the rest of my team, and honestly, this thing just fits super well with Mega Metagross and Garchomp, uh, with that Fairy Dragon Steel Core. I think this is one of my favorite Fairy Dragon Steel Cores I've ever drafted. Of course, you know, uh, something worth noting about Togekiss is, um, you know, Serene Grace, hash, hashtag hacks is a win con. Uh, this thing has great bulk all around. Uh, as you can see with 85 HP, 95 Fist Def, and 115 Speed F, just phenomenal. Solid speed tier for a bulkier Pokemon, which means it'll outspeed a lot of other teams' walls. And then 120 Special Attack, you don't even have to invest, it's still going to hit pretty hard. Uh, it does have Hustle if you want to run like a meme physical set, you can. Like if I get to the position where I'm playing a meme game late season, then I would love to bring like a Hustle banded set with like Extreme Speed. I think that could be a ton of fun. But other than that, it provides the Cleric support, it provides a Fairy for the squad, it provides Defog if I absolutely need it. Uh, it's not the greatest defogger, of course, being a flying type and being weak to rocks, but it's a good, you know, remover of, like, spikes or T-spikes because it goes off the ground. It's not effective with those as well as uh, Sticky Web as well. So, with that being said, that is our Togekiss running out our Fairy Dragon Steel Core, and I think a very, very fun way. Next up, I, this is a Pokemon, if you guys have been around this channel a while, you know I absolutely love, and I just want, I, it felt like the sort of thing that was going to be on a few other coaches radar so i decided it's another pokemon that goes way before like way early in rounds than i think it ever will and uh i decided to go ahead and grab it with my fifth pick and that is so valley so if you guys have been around this channel you know i love to use this pokemon uh in my opinion it is one of the best defoggers in the format because it really oftentimes doesn't need all four move slots like my favorite way to run so valley is just like I, if you absolutely need it to be a certain type cool but I think the best way to run Savali is slap either, uh, you know, leftovers or like a Choppleberry on it, and then uh, defog parting shot and two coverage moves, like Bolt Beam or whatever. Like this one is just phenomenal at pivoting around, clicking defog, and just being an absolute annoyance. Like it has solid stats all around. Base 75 is nothing to laugh at. Uh, decently fast, it, you know, helps fill in that speed tier between Manaphy and uh, the rest of the team uh, or Garchomp. Manaphy in the red. You guys just know what I mean. It fills in the, the speed gap between Manaphy and Togekiss, basically. You, you, got, you guys are smarter than me. You know what you know what the 95 speed tier means between these three things. So, yeah, it's in the middle, damn it. <laughs> but, yeah, this thing is another mod, just a wild move pull. Parting Shot is a great move for pivoting. It also gets a U-turn uh, with access as well. And it's just a wild move pull. Like I said, it provides a very reliable defogger. And uh, just a great move pull with great options to hit basically anything in any matchup and of course uh with the cool ability it can be any type so if you absolutely need to resist like a zygarde or something and i don't have like the best grass type which i do have a pretty good grass type to switch into zygarde later but you know it is what it is again it can sort of be like a glue mod it can just sort of 
fit a mold that you need it to, I guess, if that makes sense. Uh, next up, I wanted to grab a good electric type, and I wanted to grab another ground immunity. You can see where this is going. Uh, no, not Thunderous, unfortunately, but uh, that would have been pretty cool, honestly. I probably could have finagled that if I wanted to, but I didn't want to have double flying. We got our boy Electros. This is another Pokemon I absolutely loved using. Um, great bulk, great move pool, great offensive stats. Slow bolt switch as well as slow U-turn on one Pokemon is so, so underrated, dude. Like, providing slow pivots on a team like this is going to be so good to get my threats like Metagross, Garchomp, and Manaphy in. Like, oh my god, I couldn't pass up slow uh, volt turn in one Pokemon, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up probably earlier than I should have, but... The, like, providing that slow vote train for this team is just going to be so clutch. I uh, fill in a few matchups. And then, like I said, just another wild move full. Has fire access, can has, you know, recovery access as well as, like, drain punch and giga drain. Like, this thing just got wild move full. The only, like, thing that's glaringly missing is, like, ice coverage outside of HP ice. But other than that, you know, you know it gets pretty much any sort of coverage you need. A slow vest deal with, like, acid spray is the best set. So, yeah, it'll just fits this team perfectly. Running me another ground immunity, and yeah, like I said, slow burn turn to get my humongous threats in. Next up, uh, this is where things sort of started to get a little bit sad um, in terms of snipes. Like, there was one big snipe that sort of screwed me over because I honestly I don't like this Pokemon, and it doesn't like it fits my team because it gives me something I need. Uh, but other than that, like I don't like this Pokemon. I don't really care too much for its fit. We have a little Marowak, so. Again, it's not a bad Pokemon. It's really, really not. It gives me a fire type, it gives me a ghost type, so it's two timings I really needed. I got sniped of, I believe, I, uh, I don't want to say which Pokemon I got sniped of because I've heard, you know, the coach that has it talk about potentially dropping it, so I don't want to, you know, put that out there in case they decide not to drop it because of that, so I don't know, whatever. But yeah, uh, Alola Marowak provides me a ghost type, like I said, it gives me a fire type. Not the best fire type, honestly. If this were just like pure ghost, it'd be so much better in my opinion, but eh. It does give me a Stealth Rocker, which is nice. Or if it was even Ground Ghost, it'd be better. Um, it does still have, you know, that uh, immunity to uh, Electric with Lightning Rod. Curse Body's a pretty fun ability if you can get, like, it's RNG-based. Rockhead could be cool in certain matchups if you really want, to run, really want to run Flare Blitz and just blow stuff back. But this thing basically gave me a third Stealth Rocker, which really took pressure off of Garchomp and uh, Mega Metagross, because neither one of those ones really want to be running rocks every week. So this sort of gives me something else to put rocks on if I absolutely need to. And it provides me an electric immunity, which I guess is nice. Um, gives me a ghost type, which I guess is nice. But again, it wasn't really what I wanted here. But I knew I had to take it when I did. Otherwise, I would not have had a fire type for this team. And uh, yeah, or a ghost type probably either. So I just decided to go ahead and grab it. Next up, I wanted a you know a faster Mon than Mega Mega Ghost. Because right now, my speeders are looking a little non-elite. I don't have any of those... Super high speed tiers because uh, you know you have to have those otherwise your teams are terrible So uh, I wanted to get something faster than Mega Metagross And I wanted something that provided a little bit more team support So I decided to go ahead and grab Robombi. Uh Double Fairy is fine because you know Togekiss and Robombi do totally totally different things uh, Robombi providing the team Sticky Webs as well So that helps out with not having the greatest elite speed tiers if you will uh, Bug Fairy is, you know, solid typing as well. Not really, it's weak to a lot, but eh, it is what it is. Very good speed, decent special attack. Other than that, not a whole hell of a lot going for this Pokemon stat-wise. Uh, Shield Dust is a phenomenal ability. It uh, basically negates secondary effects. Unfortunately, it dies to Jir one Jirachi Iron Head, so I can't really... It's not really the best Jirachi counter, unfortunately, but, you know, it's whatever. Other than that, though, it does, like I said, provide us with Sticky Webs. Can be a decently potent offensive bond if you can get a, stick or a Quiver Dance up. It gets, you know, a decent move pull with, like, hidden powers. It gets Moon Blast, it gets Psychic, it gets uh, Bug Buzz, so... It can hit relatively hard. It also provides Toe One support. It can U-turn out if it needs to. It can trick stuff. Uh, it's a really fun mod, really cool support mod. Uh, it does also have Defog, as I believe. It also has access to Aromatherapy as well. So, like I said, really cool support mod. Provides, you know, a, the, an upper speed tier, which I guess is important. Uh, <laughs> I'm memeing something way too hard. That I should probably not be memeing anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. We do have our Bombi on the squad, uh, which, like I said, I've already told you guys what it does. So let's go ahead and move on to the next team member, and that is going to be Drapion. So I do pick up another base 95 Speedmon here with uh, you know Paris of Valley. I don't really think that's necessarily the worst thing in the world. Having you know that sort of speed tier is not a bad thing at all. Uh, but Drapion provides me with T Spikes, which I really really wanted on this team. Uh, I was looking to get both spikes and T spikes, but uh, like I said, 
That, uh, the fire type I wanted getting sniped really hurt. Like, I was gonna take a different Pokemon here. I'm sure you can probably guess between Rabombi and Drapion uh, which Pokemon was going to take. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so we end up with Drapion, which gives us a dark type as well as a poison type, which provides C spikes. It provides us a very cool ability in battle armor, meaning we can't get crit. So, posing hacks might not be a win con unless the opponent has a Jirachi, in which case, well, damn. But uh, knock, stab knock off, of course. Good, very good pursuit trapper. Decent setup as well. It can uh, agility. It can uh, sword stance. It does not get baton pass, unfortunately. So can agility pass. Feels bad, man. This seems like the kind of mod that should get baton pass, honestly. But it does not. Uh, decently fast taunt user as well. Whirlwind is cool to prevent setup. See, so, a really solid mod. Uh, pretty solid defensive typing. Only one weakness as well is nice. And pretty good fairy killer. It's not like resistant to fairy but i'm not too worried about fairy types on my team so it's a decent fairy killer and uh yeah should be a really fun mod to use i've used it before and i really like it and like i said t spikes is cool i really want t spikes on the squad so that's the main uh draw to this guy next up we have in my opinion the still of the draft i do not know how this thing was not only in tier 5 but it was in tier 5b the lowest of the low the lowest possible tier <laughs> this mon was there, and that mon is barbarical. How the hell is this mon a tier 5B? Like, bro, there are things in tier 4 that are worse than this mon. This mon is disgustingly good. Uh, is it a tier 4? Maybe, maybe not, but it, it's definitely not a tier 5B, I'll say that. So I, uh, this is my third and final Z-move user. I have offensive Z-moves on this, and this thing is ridiculous. Uh, it provides me with our fourth and final Stealth Rocker for this team. As well as, of course, Shell Smash, Tough Claws boosted attacks. Like, this thing is ridiculous, bro. Uh, very good physical coverage as well with stuff like Liquidation, which is boosted by Tough Claws. Stone Edge, which I don't think is, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, earthquake coverage, as well as, you know, fighting coverage out the wazoo. It's a very good Z-move user, and this thing is going to be super, super fun to use. I'm really hoping I can get to uh, show it off a little bit. Again, I really think this thing is way too broken to be a tier 5, so getting it uh, here is pretty much a steal. And I know I sniped at least a couple people of it because there were a couple other people who were uh, wanting to grab this thing as soon as I drafted. They're like, really? Really? You took Barbarical Mana? I wanted, like, yeah, it was a good pick, I'll just say that. And then last, but certainly not least, um, this was another mod that I sort of like fell into that I didn't necessarily have in my plans, but I'm kind of glad that it's here and I'm really excited to kind of use it, sort of, ish. Uh, I think it could be fun, but it's gonna be pretty tough to, I don't I don't know, man. We have Verizion as our last pick. I don't really know what I'm trying to say about Verizion other than it's okay. It's good, not great, it's our tier four. Um, or no, it was our, was it a tier four or is it tier, I don't, I don't remember what tier it was in. I think it was tier four, but um, yeah, this, this thing is solid. It's not really good at any one thing, but it's decent at a lot of things, basically. It's like a it's like an it's like an NBA role player, basically. It's it's a role player. It can do some stuff, but it's not gonna be great at anything. Uh it has a pretty solid base 108 speed tier, it has very good spin up. That's like it's one thing is good at spin up. Like the one thing uh Kyle Corver is at good is good at is shooting threes. Like Kyle Corver is okay at a lot of stuff, but he's a great three-point shooter. Verzion is a great spadef mon. That's what it does. It takes special hits relatively well as long as they're not HP flying. Uh, it has okay attack stats, base 90, base in both of them. 91 HP is okay. 72 defense is pretty trash, so this thing's gonna be dying to freaking pecs. So that kind of sucks, but it does have ways to boost both of its attack stats in Call Mine as well as Sword Stance. Sacred Sword's cool. Uh, Leaf Blade, Giga Drain. Like, if this thing got Earthquake, it'd be great. If this thing got Leech Seed, it would be a phenomenal Pokemon. But unfortunately, not having access to Leech Seed kind of hurts it. I really wanted a different fighting type, and I really wanted to grab Lilligant. But I decided to go ahead and grab Verizion to get both typings, so it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> I had to, like, double up on a couple of, like... I'd like to change a couple of plans based on a couple of things that I wanted getting snapped. So, eh, is this the perfect team that I wanted? Not really. But is this a very fun, very potent offensive team? Yes. Do I have the best defense on this team? Not really. And I might have to make a couple transactions to fix like a little bit of my bulk. But I think this is a very, on all a very solid team. Good, not great. Uh, I definitely think it's a playoff team because it has a lot of fun mods and a lot of stuff that I am going to have fun using. So I think I'll be able to win games with this team. Is it like the best thing I've ever seen? No, but 
am I excited to use it? Absolutely. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. Thank you so much for checking out my uh, draft analysis for CBA Season 5. Uh, go to the description and check out uh, all the coaches' draft analysis below. I believe they all went up today. They should all be up today, anyway. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in Week 1. Peace.